We'll see if Kirimi can get active. Can they handle Ducky on the opposite side? Who's going to come out on top in game number one? Will it be the SPL or the SCC? We'll throw it over to Dulcet and Mifflin. A storied matchup between the Valhalla Valkyries and the Eldritch Hounds, and it's one that the Valhalla Valkyries have found themselves on top of more often than not. And Mif, I think it's one that the Valhalla Valkyries, that though, would have to take the ultimate away from Oath. The Lancelot, very strong at this portion of the game, especially around that second item, has got a good deal of DPS, could make it really difficult for the dual lane of the Valkyries. Wouldn't look it, though, not with this red buff invade. Red buff dropped by the Valhalla Valkyries as Quig pulls back Benny Q. And this is where Persephone's in trouble. Crimson drops the hammer, and it's Benny Q who falls for first blood, second blood. It's there as well, and it's Quig, the Eldritch Hounds. They lose their red, but they pick up two kills, and that's a win every day of the week. Just a clean rotation but back Historically, in. when he comes out to land, his play style tends to shift. It's more so a subdued, hang back, let's farm up, let's wait for that late game, whereas normally it's get aggressive. This nice initiation from Gamma and Wowie, double root into a double wild hunt, but now, has it cost Gamma his life? Maybe it should, but Kirby's back in with a triple dunk! Oh, that's gross! From the Valhalla Valkyrie jungler, but dude, man, bro! What? Oh my god, it's not enough! What a play! DMB, one, two, three for the Eldritch Hounds! And it's a 3 0 swing on what I thought was a perfect initiation from the Valkyries! Fury down to half. Can the Valhalla Valkyries make a play around the objective again? Gamma steps too far forward. Grand Joust finds the back line. And damage from Crimson. Forces Gamma away, Earth and Fury feeling good. Here's the rocket from DMP, and through the Cosmos is enough. The passive? But it is the passive, my goodness, it's not enough. And it's Erupt Crimson with another kill. Aquarius not faring much better over in the solar lane. Things have gone sideways for the SPL team and the Eldritch Hounds. I think you're right to bring up the soul laners as well. We haven't seen either of them get involved in the engagement just yet. Both rapidly approaching 20 as Benny oh, just man. out of position. But Benny's able to get away. Oath has to use the Aegis. Kirby finishes off the kill. Now it's the Valks who are down. Newbie 4,000 gold. Uh -oh. And Ducky's reminding him why. It's a tear in the back line. And it's a tear that's keeping this fight alive for the Eldritch Hound. Suddenly Aquarius alone with three. Gamma survives behind and it's Wowie who's still left here from the Valhalla Valkyries. A three for two trade. It's not surprising given the initial gold deficit of the Valkyries. Very call from the Valkyries. The Hound's desperately running from base. Oath is in range. And the Fire Giant melting quickly. Valhalla Valkyries, they're winding up. They're ready to heave. And they've got the FG, but can you get out cleanly? Can you do one better? Can you get a kill on Oath? Still alive? No, he's he baited you in. Oath has walked you forward, but that's okay for Aquarius. He'll grab the kill. Now, wow, he steps in as well as Aquarius still buying space for the Valks, who still have FG. They need to maintain it, but they'll lose one. one as Dude Man Bro on a rampage. We'll send the rest of the Valkyries running. Such a smart play from the Valkyries there to find themselves Fire Giant, but could be doing too much here. The Elder Towns. There, then maybe. Uh, positioning does go to the Valkyries immediately, though, as the Hounds have to rotate back through. Primal Fury for the Hounds assists them if they're the team who's pulling out the Fire Giant and they want to burn. Aquarius Aqua? dives forward, stuns no one, no beads used either. Hear me forced up to the sky, I think that's by Oath. Now Ducky in range to follow up, a Benny Q backpedals and gets rid of the Lancelot. For now, it's worked out for the Valhalla Valkyries. What a split engagement, so hard to keep track of. Perhaps waiting on a couple of those ultimate cooldowns before they're willing to pull it proper. Keep your eyes on Kirmi. He's got the flank. Eldritch Hounds showing some face. Fire Giant half HP. Gamma lower than that. Oh no, it's a first pick for the Eldritch Hounds. Kirmi in the back line. Doesn't finish off the kill on a Dude Man Bro. Aquarius might know he won't. Dude Man Bro flips it again. What? Ducky with another. Wow, he might be the last to drop. It's two more for Dude Man Bro. It's two more for Ducky. And Kirmi, the last alive in the Hounds. Considering a push down mid, now double back for the EFG. Fire Giant should be relatively easy here. Kirmi has access to the ultimate low HP bars. Oh, it's not burning. On the Elja Towns. It's not burning. He could go for it. Oh, but Dude Man Bro doesn't have relics, doesn't have relics, has the rocket, but Kirmi calls him on it. The Fire Giant should still burn, but it's gonna take a little bit of time and you won't get it onto Dude Man Bro. A perfect fight from the Eldritch Hounds. It's only Kirmi left alive. 
and now, in particular. Very reliant on that grand joust to allow him to position aggressively. Doesn't oh. matter though, you get a pool like that. There's Ducky, pushes Betty Q right back in. And who else but Dude Man Bro to finish off the kill. Now it's Ducky on the tier who can keep this war path going. He'll get the beads off of Wowie one more time. And the Fire Giant with 45 seconds left still has plenty of leg in it to open up the left side Phoenix. Left side oh, bird stick gone. around, but you're playing on the knife's edge. 25 seconds on the EFG. A regular minion wave about to hit the Titan. In goes Aquarius. Now Wowie's got to do a lot of it as Betty Q is still dead. Beads off of Aqua will dash away. And all this time, Ducky was way in the Whoa. back line and was unable to finish off a kill on a Wowie. He's get dashed through by Oath. And Oath sends Wowie to the grave. Aquarius trades back one. Mid lane Phoenix drops, health bars low. DFA. Rocket through. Ducky's on a killing spree. And suddenly the Eldra Towns on the verge of taking game one over the SPL. Benny's back, it's a semi-global. Crimson is quietly poked out way too much. It might happen to Aquarius again, but Aquarius reinitiates right into the grasp of death. This is not bad. From the Valhalla Valkyries, but Kirmi hits no one. And now all the damage onto the Ratatosker. And who else but Dude Man Bro once again, as Aquarius melted DMB with a double. Gamma pulled back in, a third around the corner. That's not Dude Man Bro, he is him. That's him, Man Bro, 4-2-9 with three in the final fight of game number one. Ducky drops Benny, and it's the SCC taking game one. The Valhalla Valkyries may have won every game up until this point, but you have to keep doing it all year. The Eldritch Hounds with commanding early leads and phenomenal team fight presence approach the throne room. Wowie, he'll fall as well. He'll join his teammates in death, in Valhalla, in game number one. And what a statement from the Eldritch Hounds. Golden Blade, we'll see what this Hercule does for Ducky. We'll see what this Uller can do for the Valhalla Valkyries. It's game two, and it's Dolson and Mifflin. This is a must win for the Valhalla Valkyries to avoid going down to the loser side of the bracket here. This is all for, for Smite World Championship qualifications this whole weekend. And so anything that gives I, you a I chance. I have to assume that they, they've been developing this since we'd last seen them. I think Al Kwong Solo has certainly got value. And now Ducky has, has got a problem. Is there an execute here for Aquarius? There's certainly plenty of stuns and just hit it. Yes, that's first blood to the Valhalla Valkyries and Aquarius on the Al Kwong Solo. More fighting over in duo as Oath has sent his pressure left. And it's an answered back kill, maybe five seconds from being first blood. So the Eldritch Hounds get one. It's on to Gamma. By any means. Now an opportunity. Big dashes away, tosses up the walls. He'll get pulled back. There's a nice stun from Benny Q and a slow burn onto the Terra as a rocket's ridden in by Dude Man Bro. But who's got the last bit of damage? None of these kills finished off. No oh. more mana for Oath. He can't do anything else. He dashes through. But Benny, Benny Q up and over has nothing for Oath. And Crimson wags his finger, and it's another for the oh, SPL players are playing ranked. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Just goes to reason. It's very uh, very tongue-in-cheek, but we, we can analyze it anyway. Gamma has been attempting some purple buff invades. Hasn't successfully completed one. But this is what Oath has done. Oath has just followed up all the invades with simple ganks to left. And this is another one. Now, now it's Gamma dropping to 0-2 levels behind. Not for a lack of trying, but it has not worked out. Dave, I, I'm beginning to lose faith in the in the Ool selection. Hasn't accomplished a whole lot. I haven't lost faith in the Maui selection, surprisingly, considering 0 and 3 haven't. Really? Uh, Maui's just the good. Burn is slow. 11 and a half minutes. You're not quickly doing it. Hear me blinks, finds Crimson, but immediately has to leave. Grand Joust. As Osiris goes right back up and over, and the movement from Kirmi has been simply too smooth for the Eldritch Hounds, but now Ducky's here. Pulls Kirmi back, and you can't dodge that. And a Gold Fury re-pulled by the Eldritch Hounds. Gold Fury's real low, gotta slow it down. Wowie, Wowie. up in the air, nope. but Eldritch Hounds take the Fury for themselves. Keep your eyes on Aqua, he's in the back. Aqua needs some damage, doesn't even have to use his ultimate. And this is what you were talking about, Myth. We haven't even gotten too far underway in the build. You gotta take a breather. Again, this is not an elimination set. But you don't wanna play tomorrow in what will be an elimination set. You want to extend your life as long as possible. You want to give yourself a chance to win a set and move on to Worlds later on this weekend. This fight will go a long way in determining which of the two is going to happen as Crimson follows up on damage from his solo laner. 
and it's Kirmi for the second time this game who will drop, and Gamma for the fourth. Hounds with two clean picks. Just great usage of the CC from the Elgin Hounds. Damage sure both Gamma and Kirmi. First Quig. I don't know if he's going to try to go in. Oh, he doesn't have the burst. No, no way. No, no, no. But now Fire Giant leashed. Uh -oh. Aquarius doesn't have stealth. He's oh! out. Oh, his ultimate connects. He'll do you one better. He'll get a kill on the fadeaway. And it's an important play from Aquarius. So not only is the Pyromancer stopped, but Aquarius snags one. Valkyries drop it. End up backing away. And Kirmi has gone back in, has Hit rooted two. two. Snipes, not enough to finish off Oath, but Kirmi still got damage in the back pocket as Wowie down from the sky. Kirmi doesn't get the kill, but stays alive. Here's the rocket. It's Doom Man Bro to flip it back. And it's Jungler down on one side for the mid on the other. That's a much better pick for the Valhalla Valkyries. Crimson so much of the Elgin Town's team fight presence lost for the next 40 seconds. DMB healthy, as is quick. Purple buff approached. God, I think you can fall back to the Fury here. Gamma Go back in. Forward. Wowie with no snipes, so no chance to steal there. Oath still has his ult, but the only Fury is a split engagement here. The Hound's still on the Fury. They've now leashed it as Oath has been left alone. It's a simple kill for Wowie. As Quig burned down by Aquarius on the other side. Now's the time for the Alquang to show what's Good up. Benny Q finally gets one. And the Valhalla Valkyries call the Hound's only Fury pull. Oath sacrifices himself for Fury there every single time. I mean, that is... A clear oh. call <laughs> as the Valkyries. Oh, Fury Aquarius too. Yeah. I mean, you, you've magnified that side of the map for good reason. Now we're finally seeing it play a role in these fights, and it'll have something to say to Quick here as well. Slowed down by Ducky, but slow is enough. Those snipes from Wowie. Last one won't hit. Oh no, Kirmi gets run down by Oath back on the ground, and a grand jazz into a push from Ducky. Slows down this team fight. The Hounds. They'll find a pick on Akirmi and suddenly Fight. the Valk. We can say on call you want, Miff. Nobody can get yeah, it. Yeah, it's too late <laughs> you know? now. But could have been an option earlier on. Now Al Kwong in the cripple field, brawling out, dashes away. Look how much pushed he heals. away, not killed off. The threat, now Aquarius, but Kirmi the target. Dude Man Bro rockets in. 0 5 for the jungler of the Valkyries. And Wowie, just not with the rest of his team, but either is Dude Man Bro. This is just Wowie buying time, funneling Crimson back to the rest of the Valkyries. Wowie should be fine. And Excavate does next to nothing. Aquarius adds another. This is a big one for the Valhalla Valkyries. Beads used, doesn't matter. Double for Aquarius, double for Benny Q. Who cares about a bad start when you end up at 3-1-4 and four and a fire giant around the corner? Man, the, the fight once more starts Quick. on Aqua. Bates out, Quig. I mean, this is a miracle. No way. You're asking for a prayer, and Quig will not steal it away. And now the big swing is for the Valks. Maybe even some more here. Quig, no access to dash. Aqua right behind him. Let him cook. <laughs> we said that last time, and it didn't quite work out. Wowie on a killing spree. I thought Wowie was in some trouble in that last fight. Extends his life so effectively. And now the SPL team with their biggest advantage of the set. Deal or nothing now for the Eldritch Hounds, and it's nothing on the right side. Fire Giant on all five of the Valkyries. Now it's time to disengage. Kirmi in first, finds the ultimate oh, no. out of Crimson, no healing. Did Kirmi catch the Hounds off guard, or is it flipped? Didn't finish off the kill. And wow, he won't have the angle. Crimson lives, and you've immediately lost one of your FG buffs. A slight blunder from the Valhalla Valkyries. Still, jungle. you've bought a good deal of time, only a minute left. Kirmi in, both left dashing away. Lots of damage from the Valhalla Valkyries. Not enough, though, to kill off the jungler. Kirmi goes up and over again. Kirmi left running at low HP. The Phoenix needed one more shot, but it won't find it. On the left side Good of the pull. map, the Valhalla Valkyries working down the left side. Bird execute, beads out by Ducky this time, but Aquarius simply healing too alive. much. The stealth okay. away and the excavate shuts down Aquarius, but it's not faring too well for the Eldritch Chowns on the left side. Oath doesn't finish off the He's kill. Done. Wow, he needs one, hits one, but the left side bird still stands. Ducky, he's done with Aqua. He wants more elsewhere. Oh, no. He's the stun oh, immediately. No. Oh no, Ducky steps forward, forces the jump away by Benny Q. Wow, he wailing away on the front line. Has not been pressured, not just yet. And the damage won't hit the Phoenix. Eldritch Hounds have done enough. 10 seconds left on the FG buff. This is all Ducky on the defense. He's done it all by shutting down Aqua. 
But you're not out of the fire just oh, no. yet. Oh, no, Gamma pulled back. Again, Gamma steps forward. Ducky! Oh, it's an excavate onto Betty Q. And Betty Q lives with a sliver of HP. He'll take it. Gets rid of it by pulling the fire giant. They do. It's melting somewhat quickly. Swing through from Gamma. That's put a stun onto Oath. Crimson, though, dropping fire bombs from over the wall. Kier me melted through, but Benny Q trades out with Dude Man Bro. Is Aquarius hoping to dodge out the damage? Won't Got be able to do so, but it's still Wowie left on the map. It's a two for two trade. Three is Wowie's got a double. We've talked so much about all of the carries. And that's where all the focus has been. But wow, he has stayed alive, stayed untouched, and adds two pull. kills for He's his gonna team. He's going to pull three people, right. punch all three. That's what I'm saying. I'm just... Okay. Th there's there's already been too much chaos in this set. No. No, I'm no, such a what? genius. Oh, no. You're so smart. Aquarius melted. Kirmi has to leap away. It's, 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 it's unfathomable from the Valhalla Valkyries. They're split. They're split 3-2, and Aquari Aquarius... Gets deleted. The the it's just the status quo. The status quo of the last 10 minutes has been left side bird down. Valhalla Valkyrie's advantage stayed around the fire giant. This time, though, it's not an immediate reset. Instead, maintaining presence, potentially a bit more DMB. Kirmi has not finished a kill off yet this game. This would be oh, no. a heck of a time for his first. Aquarius still rotates through. Kirmi lives. Kirmi lives on the back of the fight, doesn't end up dying. Aquarius, though, immediately traded out. Wow, he doesn't have the damage with the snipes, so it'll be 80 carry for your Al Kwong. And now it's Wowie's turn to spin up the wheels. Ducky excavates in the middle of the front of the fight as Crimson's been poked down on the back line. Both stepping forward once again. Gamma separates the fight nicely. And no more kills will fall. Dude, Ducky man, bro. Nearby. He's done a good deal of work on that minion wave on uh -oh. the left-hand side. Jungle 1v1 on left. Oh, they should be all right. Aqua not going to line up here. Kirmi might. Gamma, He's Gamma in. goes back in. Kirmi roots one in the back. Double pull from Gamma. Kirmi finally finds a kill. And what a time to do so. Aquarius lives, but Doom Bro immediately trades back. And now it's Wowie who's got to roll away. Doesn't have snipes. Got to stay alive due to positioning. But it's three of the hounds running him down. Got him. Gamma and Kirmi, the last two. And did Kirmi go back and, and reset? He's walking back from base. And so it's just the Osiris, just the Maui, against a lot of damage that the Hounds are bringing. Got to get back to your base soon. But this time, I'm not sure we're delaying until all of those relics are back. Uh -oh. This is awkward. No, not like that. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, no. Aquarius is picked again. It's a double pullback from Gamma. But I'm not sure the Valkyries, without their solo laner, have the leg to get it done. Up and over goes Kirmi. Excavate out. And Aquarius once more picked. Remember, Aquarius got picked in mid on the Phoenix Siege. Now Aquarius picked right before the EFG. Oh, Wowie's over on left. Yeah, I, I don't know why Wowie would be here. That, that oh, is, it's no. a non-committal steal. If it's not going to be Betty's Wowie, here. why is it going to be Betty Q? Oh, no, it's disastrous for the Valhalla Valkyries. They Kier don't the send a steal over, but they send Benny Q forward. Kirmi up against the wall. He'll get He's pulled done. back in by Ducky once more. Oh, is he out? He'll lord the afterlife away. He's got to survive, and he won't. Another for the Eldritch Hounds. And they've reset once more. Now the silver lining, we've talked about a lot of them, is the Valkyries have so many towers left. seconds left, 40 rather, on nearest respawn. Gamma up oh, forward, no. just sets up a wall. Oh no, and Snipes already used by Wowie to start off the fight. Gamma's gonna die here. Eventually, Dude Man Bro finishes off the kill. Now you're still seconds. 30 seconds away from Benny Q, 40 seconds away from Kirmi coming back. They're going! The Hounds were down 11,000 gold earlier on in this game. And the SCC team that has not beat the Valhalla Valkyries all year long might get it done here as Aquarius has finished off the first. He's got plenty of damage. Ducky drops as well. Oh, it's low. Man Bro finishes off Aquarius. It's oh, Wowie got it. now with the damage. But Doom Man Bro still has damage on the Titan. Wowie steps forward. Eldra Towns, they will leave. They will not end the game. And we will go on at the 48 minute mark. DMB was padding damage at the end. No, Taking the one try and steal. It can't be you. Benny gets picked and you lose so much immediately afterward. Now it's the Eldra Towns on the respawn, on the men who have to step forward and slow down this fire. I'll tell you what, I think the Titans licking their chops at the opportunity to play either of these two teams for a chance to world. Been far from clean, but now the EFG will tilt the scales back once again. Wowie sticks on it, but Wowie and Benny Q, their little fire giant Why gets leashed. 
Ducky sticks around when Benny Q shouldn't have. What? Kirby doesn't get it done. And now the Eldritch Hounds, with a two man advantage, can walk down mid lane with only Wowie, Aquarius, and Gamma left to defend. Ducky on the chase. A pull is a death sentence for whoever it connects it. with. Might have it. Aqua. He's got the range. No, he'll dash away. But now, Miff, Gamma, Wowie, and Aquarius with a half HP Titan. Staring down the Ultra Towns on the verge of their first win against the Valkyries here this year. A double pull gets a kill on a dude man, bro. But wow, he's up in the sky. Good damage. Wow, he's up in the sky. And the Eldritch Hounds, they will get it done. They will 2-0 the Valhalla Valkyries. They were down 11,000 gold. Does not matter. 